Hi kids, welcome back. We're spending these next few weeks talking about God and the different names that describe who God is. What names for God do you know? Maybe you or a grown-up who's with you can help you to put the names for God that you already know in the chat at the side here during the live stream. I'd love to hear what names for God you know. Parents, grown-ups, you are welcome to join in on this as well and share in the chat the names for God that you know. This week, we're going to talk about God as our shepherd, Jehovah Rohi. Can you say that with me? Jehovah Rohi, the Lord is my shepherd. What do you know about shepherds? Who do they take care of? What do shepherds do while they're taking care of their sheep? We're going to hear a story that Jesus taught the people about a good shepherd. And then when we come back, we'll talk about what it means that God is our good shepherd. A shepherd watched over his sheep carefully every day and every night to make sure that none of the sheep wandered away from the rest of the flock. He counted them. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, all the way to 100. But one day, when the shepherd counted his sheep, he, he had 99. One sheep was missing. One sheep had wandered off and might be in trouble. The shepherd wanted to find his lost sheep right away, so he left his flock in a safe place on the mountain, and he began to search for the one sheep that had wandered away. He searched everywhere, up hills and down, under bushes, behind trees down in the creeks, up on the cliffs. He listened carefully, and finally he heard a faint ba 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 Yes, there was the lost sheep, caught in a bramble bush, bush, worn out, hurt, and hungry. The shepherd picked up the sheep and, st and started his journey home. When he got back to his flock, he cared for the sheep that had been lost giving him food and water and a good place to rest. Then he called to his friends and neighbors, Hurrah! Be happy for me! I found my lost sheep! So, what does a good shepherd do? He takes his sheep to green pastures where there is good green grass for them to feed on. He takes them beside streams of water where they can drink. He builds a fire to protect them from predators at night. He guides them along the correct path. He saves them from high cliffs or guides them the way that they should go. Before Israel's King David was king, he was a young shepherd and he played a stringed instrument called a lyre, which is like a small harp. This here is a ukulele, but it is another stringed instrument. David wrote songs while he was out in the field with his sheep, and even after he became king, he continued to write songs of praise to God. In Psalm 23, David tells us that God takes care of his people like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. And sheep know their shepherd's voice, and they listen for their shepherd because they know that he loves them, that he will protect them, and that he keeps them safe. Sheep have everything they need if they have a good shepherd. And we have everything we need because we have the ultimate good shepherd, Jehovah Rohi, the Lord is my shepherd, and your shepherd too. God takes care of us, comforts us, provides for us. If we wander away and are lost, he will look for us, find us, and desires to save us. How is God being your good shepherd today? Maybe this week you could sing your own song about how God is your shepherd. Or find other ways to praise God. You could dance, you could draw a picture, you could write a poem, you could read a Bible verse or a psalm, you could shout or whisper a prayer to God, you could clap, you could cheer, or even be kind to someone and share the love that Jesus has as our Good Shepherd. I know these times are really hard and difficult 
as we continue to stay home. It's hard not to see people and to not see our friends, but I want you to know that no matter what is going on around us, that God is with you. God is Emmanuel, God with us, and Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd. God will care for you, comfort you, provide for you, no matter what is going on around you. God continues to be and will always be Jehovah Rohi, our good shepherd. That's all for me this week, kids. See you next time. 